Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got something extremely stupid for you today. But if you're of a certain age, I think you'll get a kick out of it. And I'd like to preface this by giving you a little jingle. Clap on. Clap off. The clapper. That's right, we've created an Arduino clapper. Which, unfortunately likes my voice you can adjust the levels but anyway this thing is pretty cute it's pretty simple as you can see other than hooking up the power you really only got two connections one to this microphone sensor clap clap and one for the uh, LED <laughs> Anyway, today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. They offer all sorts of different wire connections. These T-taps are my favorite. They allow you to put basically a right angle connection on a piece of wire. So all you have to do with these T-taps, which are also called insulation displacement connectors or IDCs. See a little piece of metal there? You put your wire in there. And you clamp it down like that so it's clamped over your wire now you see that little like fork looking thing there when this is all closed up and clamped up your connection wire simply slides on like that and now you've got an insulated 90 degree connector and that's pretty cool these are great for car boat use whatever Check them out. There is a discount code down below where you can get 20% off on an order of these. Thank you again, Solder Stick, for sponsoring the channel. So, back to our Arduino-based clapper. Like I said, there are very few connections. The, uh, the microphone sensor needs VCC ground, and then it has an output, which I put over here to A0. Um, we're using digital two as our output for the, uh, resistor. So there's a 220 ohm resistor going over to our LED, which goes directly to ground. Like I said, there is nothing to it. Let's go over the computer and take a look at the code and see how simple it is as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino cat clapper sketch. And this is based off of an original sketch I found by some dude named Andaprof. So. Credit where credit's due. Okay, so we're going to start off by declaring some of our variables. Um, sensor is going to be A0. That's where we're going to attach the microphone sensor. Our clap counter is going to start out at 0. Our detection range, everything else is going to start at 0. And our status lights, which is what the thing does. It just switches, switches the state of this. is set to false. So now we'll begin our setup, which will run one time. And it's pretty simple here. Our sensor, which is pin A0, which we set up here, we're just telling it it is an input. And then pin 2, which is our status light, is set for an output. And I always have my serial comms on for debugging. It's just useful if you need to see the value of something because the program's not doing what you want, this will help you out. Now our loop, which will run over and over and over. So... We're going to create an integer, an integer variable called a status sensor. And it is going to be filled with the value that is in sensor, which is, as you remember, a zero. So if it's zero, that means if there's a hit, and if there's a clap, which means, you know, there's something going on there, then we're going to set our detection range for all the same, which is the millis count, and we're going to increment, increment, Increment? Increment. Yes, we're going to add one to our clap count. So are you with me so far? The only thing we've really done so far in this program is we have read the sensor. And if it is positive, I know it's a zero here, but if it's positive, then what we're going to do is we're going to reset our detection range, which means we're going to set it for the current time, which is the millis. And we're going to increment our clap count. And then we're going to say else if clap is greater than zero I mean there's already been a clap and millis in less than detection range is less than 50 seconds 50 milliseconds 
or greater than 50 milliseconds, yes. <laughs> so if our clap count is greater than zero and millis, which is current time, minus the detection range when we started is greater than or equal to 50 milliseconds, then our detection range gets reset to millis, clap count is incremented. And now we're going to come down here and we're going to say, if there are two claps, millis minus detection range start in under 400 seconds, and here's the two claps we're looking for, then we are going to change the state of status lights. So if not status lights, then status lights are true and it turns on. If status lights, the status lights are reset right here, and the status lights go out, and finally we reset our clap count to zero at the end. It's that simple. All we're doing is looking for two inputs, two stimuli in under a half a second. If so, then we do the thing. That's all there is to it. I will put a link to this down below so you guys can check out the code. And as you see here, use however you wish. Open source. I don't care what you do with it. I'm here to show you stuff. If you like what I showed you and you do something with it, well, then I've done my job. So you have it now. It's super simple. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the sensitivity on that so I can talk and it doesn't keep going off. So these little guys here, they're just, you can find them listed as a microphone sensor. All it does is it has a microphone. It might also be called just sound sensor and a potentiometer you can adjust the level at which it behaves you know which it turns on that's that's really all there is to it you adjust your level here you gotta find the right spot you know but there you go the arduino base clapper I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'll put the code down below. Big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this. Check them out if you have some wire connection needs in your future. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.